Hi, I'm Yusuf. We have finished uh, 2.5 3-axis and hole making operations. Now it's time for 4-axis operations. But first, let's look at the 4-axis machines, the defining of 4-axis. Uh, there are two types of 4-axis machines. First one is uh, actually 3-axis and one uh, rotary table edit. The machine has three axes and one uh, the rotary table moves the uh, part in one axis so tool can reach uh, all of the part except uh, that side except the face actually. Second version is horizontal machining center. The rotary table uh, is a part of that machine. It's not added then. It can have pallets as you can see on uh, video. The part uh, isn't uh, isn't machined just uh, mounting on the table. Uh, it generally, a fixture is used on this machine. And as you can see, part is machined on the fixture. Okay. Let's look at our cam operations. I uh, draw a part that contains uh, nearly every uh, operation. Holes, slots, uh, and formed, a formed area. As we done before in old operations, uh, we define parts blank and we define check unlike all operations because uh, in uh, in rotary table uh, it is so important that the spindle mustn't touch to the uh, rotary table uh, because uh, it is very, it's a very common problem. So we uh, define a, uh, we we mount it to a vice. So you, uh, it will be very useful if you define it, uh, if you define this vice on cam. Okay. Uh, what will we do now? We are machining it from a full cylinder, so we will uh, machine the uh, rough sides. Create operation. There are uh, generally uh, in old uh, manner. They are done with planar mill, but we don't need them anymore. We will use floor uh, and wall and floor wall with IPW for these type of operations. We just define the floor and we define the blank thickness and we define the uh, depth of cut and we click generate. We choose zigzag. Okay, but there is a problem because uh, tool moves uh, without cutting in these parts. In these parts, uh, if you machine, for example, one, two, or ten parts, it isn't important. But if you machine uh, hundreds or thousands of, of parts, they are important. 
So we don't we don't use this too much. We use floor and wall with IPW. What's the difference? I just choose the floor. I choose the uh, cut pattern. Define the depth of cut. I don't define the uh, blank thickness. And I click generate. For non cutting mouse, I change the height first and I change the between regions transfer type. Okay, I minimize the non cutting mouse, and as you can see, it doesn't make any air move, it just cuts the uh, blank. We can uh, increase the maximum distance and make a make more optimized tool pads. Okay, let's see how it cuts. If you do find the uh, find operation name with uh, plus Z rough, it will be good for operator. He can understand the axis. Okay, we will cut the uh, minus Z. What we will do, we just copy, we paste We change the floor And we just click generate As you remember, if we uh, if we have used cavity mill, we should define the axis. But uh, for floor wall and hole making operations, we don't define axis. It can see it. It just takes uh, the floor axis. Uh, and uh, we didn't tell the machine that turn the i-axis in uh, 180 degrees. It just makes it uh, by its own. I change it minus the trough. I copy and paste it. Change the floor and click generate. Change the name plus why rough I copy past it delete the floor and choose the another and click generate I don't define any axis, I don't write any code for rotating the table. It 
just make it its own. Okay, we made the rough operations and let's verify it. As you can see, the uh, in the screen tool uh, moves, but in the real machine, tool doesn't move. Just uh, the rotary table moves. Okay, uh, it is all for. Uh, pardon, I forgot to tell the MCS. MCS uh, should uh, should take the machine vectors. As as you know, x is in table x, y in table y, and z defines the spindle uh, axis. In this scenario. Rotary table is positioned at the right of the table. Uh, if it's on the left of the table, you should change the x axis like this. And you should change the VCS to like this. Okay. That defines the x uh, axis defines where the rotary table is positioned. In this scenario, rotary table is positioned on the left side of the table. Okay, it's all for this video. Uh, I will not tell all the operations in one video because uh, in this time there is a too long video. So I will make it part by part. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, please ask on comments. <clears throat> if you liked the video, please press the like button. And if you aren't, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.